Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, this is Gamester81. Hope you guys had a wonderful New Year and a wonderful holiday season. Um, I, for one, laid low for New Year's. I actually, my wife and I ended up playing uh, Rock Band 2 and uh, we played some songs and we did Super Mario Brothers on the Wii as well, and which was fun. I just kind of decided to take it low because, you know, lay low because a lot of my friends were out in the block parties and here in Phoenix the comps are everywhere doing and uh, stops and stuff like that. And, I didn't want to risk it. Uh, a good friend of mine recently got a DUI, and that's not a very fun thing to go through, <laughs> especially here in Arizona. So I decided to take it to lay low, uh, but it was fun, you know, playing games with someone I love and and had a great New Year's. Um, but I got this shirt uh, for Christmas. This is for my brother. It's got a lot of cool um, controllers on it, and from just a lot of retro systems. I'm trying to figure out what this one's from. I'm not sure if you can see it very well. Um, also, before I get going on this this review for this new portable I got. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to a good friend of mine here on YouTube. Uh, his name's Ariel, and he's from Puerto Rico. You guys might know him as, better as his YouTube screen name is Vidium. I'll put a link on here on the sidebar, but he sent me some really cool Star Wars stuff from my other channel, and I just wanted to thank him on this channel. So you, uh, just to acknowledge him, and, and uh, thank you so much. Uh, I've decided to, uh, you guys have been very generous, and, and because of that, I've decided to give back. And when I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away a free system. Um, I can tell you uh, what system it is, but uh, I'll tell you this, it's going to be unopened, it won't be used. Um, anyone can play it. Uh, if you live in a country that uses PAL, uh, you can actually use it. Because I do I realize I have a lot of subscribers who live in the UK and Australia, down under, etc. and so forth, that some of the systems here in North America don't necessarily work for them, and I want to be fair and have everyone who's a subscriber of mine have an opportunity to win it. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I think you guys will enjoy it. Also an update. Uh, my camera, <laughs> it's not charging, it's really pissing me off. And I recently bought a new charger and it's still not charging. I'm living off this one battery left, this life that's <laughs> left in this battery still. And, and once that's out, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to have to get it fixed in one way or another. Uh, so, so be patient. I'm, I'm going to have enough to do this video uh, and maybe a few more, but I'm going to have to get my camera fixed. So hopefully uh, that won't take too long. But let's take a closer look at this. Okay, guys, I just got this in the mail the other day. It's called Yobo. Uh, actually, it's called the FC16 Go by Yobo. Uh, Yobo is a company that made FC Twin and other Nintendo clones and Super Nintendo clones and even Genesis clones. And this is their newest product. Um, I got this on StoneAgeGamer.com. I'll put a website on the sidebar here in case you guys are wondering. But um, I am back, back to making gaming videos. And my, I know my last few videos have been kind of non-gaming related with karaoke and, and how to brew beer. And I just wanted to show you guys another side of me as far as my other interest goes. And Want to do that? So let's just open this up. It's kind of a cool packet uh, box. It comes with uh, three different colors. It comes in silver, uh, charcoal, which is black, and uh, red. I got the the red one because I thought it was kind of a cooler color. Um, let's see here. Let's look on the back. Let's see what it comes with. It comes with uh, two wireless remotes as well, so you can uh, you can plug it into uh, your TV. Uh, very similar to that um, FC Mobile. I showed you earlier the newer one, F FC Mobile 2. You can do the same thing. So uh, it is two player, which is really cool. Um, and it's 16 bit compatible. Uh, it's got 3.5 inch LCD display. Um, that's cool. So let's open this up. I'm curious. Oop, I'm doing this with one hand, guys. So please bear with me here. All right. Let's see what it comes with here. Open this thing up. Uh, we got your. Uh, battery which is cool lithium battery uh, so it doesn't run off of, uh, of, of normal battery so it is rechargeable which is a really really cool feature uh, oh, okay we got also a, a char AC adapter which is cool headphones which are kind of kind of cheap looking headphones but you also got your um, RF cables here it looks like it's mono sound not stereo um, you know that kind of sucks but you know kinda also kind of cheaply made <laughs> let's see here Man, they really packed this tight. Okay, um, it looks like uh, these do take batteries. Um, look by the looks of it, it takes uh, double A. God, I don't know why they do that. They put these mini screws here, and this is really annoying. Um, it probably takes two double A batteries, but God, kind of cheap, actually cheap plastic, very light. Uh, you got your uh, start select buttons right here, kind of odd um, locations. And hmm, I wonder where the the beam is. It that's right, your on off switch here. That's interesting. Very cool, and you got two of those. Let's open this thing up. Get your uh, 
your instruction manuals, how to hook it up to your TV. This thing is uh, very, very bulky. This would would be where the lithium battery goes. My guess would be. <laughs> uh, and then uh, let's see the back. This is where the games would go. Okay. And uh, let's see, you got your uh, left, right bumper buttons right here. These are kind of very small, and it doesn't look like there's much room for your fingers. I don't know, but this seems pretty big. I mean, it makes a, the original DS. Um, <laughs> it, it dwarfs it. Uh, let's open this up. Huh? Opens up uh, on a hinge. Interesting. It clicks. It's interesting. Um, yeah, your uh, select, your power button right here. Your start, directional pad, the reset button, and then A B X Y. They finally get it right as far as button controls do. Because I know, I go because I know for the Nintendo one they had, and even the Genesis one I reviewed earlier, um, the buttons are all jacked up. It looks like this one they finally got it right. You got your volume. I don't know how well you can see that. It's kind of dark. Volume, and then you got your. Uh, okay, if you want to turn on to TV, you, this is a switch for that. On this bar is nothing on the side, and uh, nothing on the bottom. This is, I guess, where uh, your wireless remotes would. Uh, those sensors for that. So let's pop in some games. Okay, and guys. See so I, what I did, I plugged in the game. I got Super Star Wars in here, which is one of my favorite games for the Super Nintendo, which is should be no surprise to you guys if you know me. Uh, but if, in case you're wondering, this is where the headphone jack goes. And this is where the AC adapter jack goes, right, on the side here, which is kind of out of places for it. And the bumpers actually handle pretty well. Uh, there is no contrast on here, which is interesting. I did plug this into a TV, and it works just like the FC Twin as far as compatibility, and it plays very good on the TV as well. So uh, let's see this thing in action as far as, um, you know, portability goes. I do want to give credit where credit's due. Uh, a YouTuber by the name of I Want to Brawl actually uh, sent me a PM and introduced me to the system. So thank you very much. Sounds actually pretty decent. The controls are uh, not bad. It's very bulky, I guess that's the only downside about it. If you guys haven't played these Star Wars games for the Super Nintendo, there's three of them. Um, I definitely recommend picking them up if you're a Star Wars fan or if you like side scrollers. These are really fun side scrollers. I'm kind of biased, I guess, in a sense, but. The only thing about this game really pissing me off is you can't run and fire at the same time, which is kind of. You can in the later editions, but in this one, for some reason, you can't, which is ridiculous. So, um, let's check out another game real quick. Let's check out one more game I'm going to show you. This is Donkey Kong Country. Another great uh, trilogy here on the Super Nintendo. I uh, recommend picking this trilogy up as well. There's three of them. Actually, the, the LCD, I'm really surprised, impressed by the LCD screen. I mean, much clearer than the Nintendo uh, brother, I guess we'd call it, right? The it's portable Nintendo, it's much clearer. If you guys are looking for like a, a, a Super Nintendo and you want something to go, I definitely recommend picking one of these up since it's kind of two in one. I'm not taking this game too seriously. And then uh, one more game I want to show you guys, in case you guys are wondering. I have a Super Game Boy. I was curious if it would work on this thing as well. If you already have a Game Boy, it's pretty much pointless to have it portable, but kind of cool to see if it would work or not. Let's check it out. Clicking is kind of weird. Clicks in place like that. I, for one, would prefer taking this on the road rather than like a... My Wiz, which is an emulator. I just like playing the, the real thing. I think it just it plays a little better. This is basically a Contra for a Game Boy, which came out, I think, in like 1991 or, you know, so. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, um, take care and happy gaming. Bye-bye.